Hey guys, Luke from Trout River Industries here again. I'd like to welcome you to our tip of the week. This week, our tip is going to be on how to inspect the power systems on the trailer. The first of the power systems we're going to talk about is the hydraulic system. That consists of the pump and the lines on the truck that feed these lines, which feed the valve, which feed the motor, which turn the conveyor. You can check your truck as well, but we're talking about the trailer today. The first thing you want to check for is oil leaks on the hydraulic system. You want to check all your fittings on the steel end and on the rubber end just to make sure there's no bad oil leaks. Obviously, on an old trailer, you can expect some residue just like this one is. That's normal, but you don't want to see oil dripping anywhere or rips or cracks or splits or anything like that. The hydraulic system runs on very high pressures, so it's a good idea to keep this in good shape. The next power system we're going to talk about is the electrical system. You want to go around your trailer from time to time and check the lights. Make sure they all work, not just for safety reasons, but because if something does go bad, the quicker you catch it, the usually the easier it is to fix it. So you want to check all your lights. You can hop in your wire tray. You can make sure the wires are in good shape underneath. We'll show you that in a minute. And the plugs on the front of the trailer, you want to keep them well greased and make sure there's no corrosion happening up there. Also in your electrical system, if your trailer has an electric tarp motor, you can also grease the connections on that to make sure there's no corrosion happening. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the air system. On this trailer, the gauge is up front here. On the newer trailers, it's over here where the hydraulic one is on this trailer. Um, if you notice that your gauge doesn't hold the pressure for a very long time, this could be a good sign of an air leak. You want to check your system to make sure there's no bad air leaks or no splits or cracks in the lines because obviously these air lines power the brakes and other important systems on your trailer. As mentioned before, this is the wire tray. It houses all the air and electrical lines that go from the front of the trailer to the rear. The first place you'd start looking for leaks would be right here as it's the easiest to access and if split or crack or break is here it's a very easy fix as you can see right here these lines have been fixed in the past lastly guys I'm just going to show you the two best methods that I've found for finding leaks in your air system the first is the soapy water method you take your air you take your soapy water you can spray it on all your air lines you can spray it on your fittings and if there's a leak and it has soapy water on it, it'll start bubbling. So you gotta make sure you put the soapy water on thick so it'll have lots to bubble with. The second method, which is a little bit less common but it works really good, is if you have a spot that's maybe a little bit harder to reach or you don't have any soapy water, if you have a piece of airline, put one end in your ear, just run it along where all your airlines are, all your fittings, and it will amplify the air leak so you can hear it way easier. Once again, guys, I'd like to thank you for joining us for the tip of the week. We'll see you again next week.